hey welcome to the next wordpress for facebook 2.0 video in this video i want to give you a rough overview to see how wordpress for facebook 2.0 actually works and trust me this is really important to make sure that you understand all the features better in later videos so in later videos i'll go into all of the technical details to to explain to you how you can use each of the features of WordPress or Facebook 2.0. But once again, in this video, I'm going to give you an overview to see how it all works. So once, you in, once you've installed it, uh, WordPress or Facebook 2.0 in your WordPress admin area, you'll notice that you have um, two new menus. You have the WordPress or Facebook menu right here, and you have a WordPress or Facebook pages right here. I'll just show, uh, show you all the settings really quick. Once again, I'll explain them uh, later on as well. The settings pages, this is where you can uh, customize several settings for your WordPress or Facebook pages. The apps pages is where you manage all your applications. You can uh, edit them later on or you can add them to your fan page really easily. And the live editor is where you can simply click, uh, drag and drop to edit or create new designs for all your pages. And you can save them, you can just use any of the templates that we included. That's all really easy to do. And in the sweepstake menu is where you can create new sweepstakes or manage them and see who's the winner, etc., etc. Inside the WordPress or Facebook pages, that's where you create all your pages. And let me explain to you something. When I'm going to my WordPress, uh, sorry, when I'm going to my fa Facebook fan page like this one right here, each of these boxes is an is a Facebook application. So this is one Facebook application. And this is another Facebook application. And this Facebook application, inside one application, you can create as many WordPress or Facebook pages as you want. As you see right here, I have all, all these kind of pages are inside this application, and you can create as many as you want. Which means that you can have a whole bunch of pages right here, and still only uh, all, all, to, all for one uh, Facebook application. But each of these pages can only be used for one application. So if I create a page with some uh, a photo gallery or whatever on it, I can only use it for one application and not for another application. If I want to use for another application, I need to create another uh, page. And let me show you something. If I create a new page, I need to select which uh, to which application it belongs. So then th this page will only be used for that application. Um, I'll, I'll quickly go over all the other features as well. You can this is where you add the content, and of course, if you want to use short codes, you can use this menu right here. And once again, I'll go over this in later in detail uh, in later videos as well. You can select the layout, the navigation, and you can create you can uh, enable some um, viral features like this one. You can post a message on the wall, you, and then you can uh, fill out the message, etc., etc. Uh, the open, open graph settings and the Google Optimizer settings and like I said I'll go over this later on as well so but what if you want to start out to create uh, your own application what do you like where do you start for instance if you want to, to create a viral coupon app well I'm just going to explain to you um, how that works because uh, the WordPress of Facebook pages like you see right here oh sorry like you see right here, they can, they can either be visual or they cannot be visual. And for, for example, if you want to create a viral coupon app, you, you, you would probably start with creating, or at least you would create a page, um, which is the page they will see before they like your page. So you say, click like if, and you might, you might add an uh, arrow to the top. So this is the page that the user will see when they visit your fan page, but they haven't uh, liked your page yet. Well, then another page is what you probably already created in the installation video is your main page. So this is what all the users will see after they've liked your page. Um, uh, for example, uh, thanks for liking. And then you want maybe want to create a button to uh, to give them to give them access to your viral coupon. So get access to 10% discount, for example. Oh. And once again, this is just just to show you how how pretty how it works, pretty much. So now we have already created two pages, and um, so we want to we want to give them access to a ten dollar discount. So we want to create a page with the discount coupon on it. 
coupon. So you you probably create a page where you well they'll find the coupon, but um, the, how do you make this viable? How do you make sure that, for instance, if you want to uh, if you want the users who who get access to this page, you want them to automatically post a message on their wall so all their friends see it. Well, to do that, we're going to create another page which, which will not be visual. Actually, I'll just change the coloring as well. This page will not be visual it will be an empty page and the only thing you'll do is you'll um, change some settings like uh, post a message for example and then you uh, you, see you add an image and a title and a description and the message to be posted and from from this page the, the, the this button will actually link to this page but when users when users click there they will get a message from Facebook um, let me just put it right there uh, asking them whether they want to give the application access want to give access allow or something like that so the users will actually see this and once they do that they go right back to back to that page because that's that's specified on this page you'll specify well if if this is successful it will go to um, page x or y so now we've created four pages but only three of them are visible the user will see this they'll like it then they'll see the home page and they will click on the get access uh, to ten dollar discount they will allow facebook to to do whatever you want them to do and then they'll automatically get access to this page and this page they will never see this one but you have to create it you have to make it, uh, it, it it's actually a page but the users won't see this as a page and that's actually the one thing that i wanted to explain to you because once you understand that you can do a whole uh, lot of creative things with your uh, with your wordpress or facebook 2.0 pages so in later videos i'll go into all the technical details how to create all these kind of app, 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 kind of applications and all how to use all the features um, but like i said i just want to give you an overview of how this uh, works and so you understand that you have to create multiple pages for one single application and to make it all work so i'll see you in the next video guys thank you